So we just came from a panel about modernizing Marine Corps marksmanship. So colonels with weapon training battalion and gunners with weapons training battalion. And across the Marine Corps, they're experimenting with new technology to help shooters get into the role faster, shoot more accurately, more lethally. Even though legacy plays an important part in our training and education, are we fully leveraging technology to maximize the efficacy of our instructors and truly make the most out of every round fired with the limited time and ammunition available? One of the main problems with shooting when you're not on the range with live rounds is realistically simulating how it's gonna feel when you're shooting that live round. So to do that, you do what are called grass drills. Any Marine's done those for decades, maybe a century. There's a barrel with little mini targets a few meters away. You dry fire to that target, make sure you're not jerking the trigger, but you never get any kind of feedback. These different systems are giving that kind of feedback. The first one they're experimenting with is called the Mantis. It's already at the recruit depots in an experimental phase. What it does is it simulates a laser and gives you the dry fire. So you can see where the target is lined up and know that if you're moving the trigger, moving the weapon, you can kind of accurately depict where you're pointing that muzzle and where the round is probably gonna go. Now what it doesn't do though is recoil. This other system that they're also experimenting with is Unit 4. And Unit 4 does the actual recoil. So one thing you can't get when you're at the barracks is a recoil because you can't fire a live round. But with this system, you can simulate that and have the recoil affect the shooter. Now, recoil will affect the shooter, pull them off target. So it's really important to have that realistic recoil when you're firing a weapon to know that you're doing it correctly and using the right techniques. To wrap all of this up, the Marine Corps is taking the JMAP system. Basically, it's a, a more high technology, smart, smart tablet or smartphone based system with an application that uses algorithms with audio characteristics, measuring where the, where the round actually is shooting in live fire, kind of the sound of where the round is to help with the ballistics. And also checking with a smartwatch if the shooter's moving their movement with the weapon as well. They triangulate all this data comes into, again, a smart device or tablet or smartphone, gathers all the information from a company's worth of Marine shooting in about four hours. And not only does it gather the data where each weapon shot, where the muzzle was pointed and loaded, where it actually was used, it also takes that data and pretty much spits out a training program saying, okay, these individual shooters need to correct this type of shooting in order to improve their marksmanship, improve their lethality. Now, all this is coming out of a study the Marine Corps did to measure lethality where it found that only 30% of Marines were actually striking targets with lethality if the target was moving or the Marine was moving or if there was any kind of barricade. That came out of the GWAT wars of Afghanistan and Iraq. And they're really trying to advance this marksmanship to use new technology, new weapons, new optics, and make better shooters of Marines. Marine Corps Times, this is Todd South.